हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सक्सेस स्टेप वर्ड हु सेज इफ यू ड्रीम इट यू कैन डू इट सो गाइज वी आर बैक एंड टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट द ग्रामेटिकल टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स फॉर राइटिंग टास्क वन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन टास्क वन द फर्स्ट स्टेप विच यू हैव टू डू इज टू एनालाइज द टेंस टाइम गिवन इन द टास्क सिंस यूर कंप्लीट टास्क डिपेंड ऑन द गिवन टेंस सो यू हैव टू यूज टेंस इन इन ऑल पैराग्राफ्स सच एज इंट्रोडक्शन ओवरव्यू एंड बीपीज इन द ओवरव्यू एंड बीपीज यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब ट्रेंड्स इट मीन्स यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द ट्रेंड ऑफ गिवन टास्क यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब इंक्रीजेज एंड डिक्रीजेज इन विच यू हैव टू एनालाइज द इंक्रीमेंट एंड डिक्रीमेंट इन गिवन डेटा मेकिंग कंपेरिजन्स इन दिस यू हैव टू कंपेयर द गिवन डेटा and to do all these things you will need to use particular tenses which we are going to learn in this video clear now i'll talk about the most important thing verb tenses this choice will be determined by whether or not the graphic contains dates and if it does check whether they are in the past present or future tense clear if the given data is in past tense you have to use past tense for an instance look at the given statement the table below describes the number of people who went for international travel from various countries in 1990 95 2000 and 2005 clear here we can clearly see that the dates given are before the present year therefore you should use the past tense now if the data is in future tense you have to use future tense such as you can see the statement given on screen the table below describes the information and predictions regarding the change in percentage of the population aged 65 and above in three countries uh, which is in 2030 here the prediction word denotes the future tense so you have to use the future tense here and if data is in present you have to use present tense clear now it becomes a little more confusing when there is no year given in this case test taker will need to pay more attention to the words used in the statement let's look at the example the chart below shows the information about the favorite subject of 60 students from two schools school a and school b so in this given task you have to use present tense but if there will be second form of verb used in the statement you will have to use then past tense here clear so in this way you should analyze your task in terms of tense so now i'll tell you the most common and imperative tenses you do not need to learn all the tenses you just need to focus on these tenses which i'll tell you in this video clear so for present tense data you should know the use of present simple tense present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense now for the data of past tense you have to learn past simple or past perfect and for future learn just future simple or the future perfect tense The next thing is most of the tasks require you to compare data from two or more time periods such as past and present or present and future predictions so in that case test taker has to use a range of different tenses in their task for an instance look at this statement the chart below shows the percentage of whole world population in four countries from 1950 to 2000 with projection till 2050 so in this task as you can see there both past and future years have been used so to explain this task you will have to use both tenses clear but remember never use different tenses just to show that you know several tenses only use the tense that is 100% correct for expressing a specific piece of information now the last thing is if you want to learn the tense as well from me then let me know in the comment section i'll definitely upload a quick video on tenses so this is enough for today's video um rest of the things we'll discuss in the upcoming videos till then stay tuned with us and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of our upcoming videos apart from it please uh, like comment and share the video if you like it we'll meet in the next video thank you so much